Hey guys, what's going on today? I am going to be bringing you a tutorial. Um, it's going to be an in-depth guide on how to go about rooting and installing a custom ROM on the OnePlus Nord N200 5G. This video is going to go over uh, several different things. So I'm going to have timestamps so you can kind of just skip around to um, whichever part you're looking for. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got a folder here with just about everything you're going to need, plus some extra things that I think are, are just helpful to have. And what I'm going to do, because there's not really a super great guide online yet, is I'm going to have just a link to everything in my description so that you don't have to go all over the place. You'll just have everything right there to, to download. Um, but the first thing you need is something called Platform Tools, um, which I've already downloaded right here. And again, I'll have the links to everything in order in the description. Um, but you're going to want to go ahead and install this so it'll download as a zip. You're going to extract it um, and then it'll be installed. And then what you want to do is go ahead. If you see this um, kind of uh, navigation bar at the top, you're going to click this and then you're going to type CMD. And then you hit enter. And then if you did it right, you should see the path um, is going right to the folder. Um, where you just installed this to. Now, the next thing you need to do is go ahead on your phone, open up your settings, and you're going to want to go ahead and enable developer mode. To do that, you're just going to go and spam the build number of your device, and it'll give you like a countdown of press X amount of times to enable developer mode. And once you've done that, it'll ask you for your password. You put that in. And then you go back and once you're in settings, you should see a new option that says developer settings. Um, and then you want to find USB debugging and you want to go ahead and enable that. All right, so I'm actually um, inserting this clip in the middle of editing because I realized that I forgot to mention drivers are super, super important. If something doesn't work, for example, you're trying to connect your phone and your computer is not detecting it chances are it's a driver issue so um for the most part I'm, I'm gonna have the link to this in the description this driver should work you're gonna download it as a zip file extract it to this folder oops and i was messing around and recycled it so maybe i should go ahead and restore that um but you should see a folder that says usb driver um and then inside it there should be android win usb.inf AMD 64 I386. Um, this is what it should look like once you've extracted it. And what you're going to do is plug your phone into your computer, go to device manager. You're going to click on your desktop or um, the device you're using. You're going to go action, add legacy hardware. Um, you're going to next, um, manual, uh, next, have disk. You're going to browse. That's your disk, quote unquote, in the USB driver folder. So you're going to hit open. OK, next, next, um, install. Um, and then it's going to say that it's installed. It might have this error, but it doesn't really matter. It should be fine. Um, and then you should see Android ADB interface um, come up. And then if it wasn't working already, you should be good to go. And once you have that enabled, what you're going to do is hook your phone up to your PC um, with a USB cable. And once we go past these next couple steps, your device is going to reset. It's going to wipe all data. So please make sure uh, once you're ready to go past these next steps that you have all the data you need backed up. Um, you have your device backed up. You don't have anything sensitive on there that, that you're going to lose if it resets. Because again, this is going to wipe everything and factory reset your device. Um, but once everything is good to go, you're going to open up that command prompt again. Um, and again, the folder should be in the plat um, or the command line should be in the, the platform tools folder. And the command you're going to type is ADB reboot bootloader. Um, in my case, I don't have my phone connected because I've already done this. But if you have your phone hooked up, you'll see it reboot. Um, and then to confirm that it's connected once it's booted up, um, you're going to type fastboot devices. Um, and if you did everything right, you should see your phone um, listed right here. It might not actually like say Nord N200, but you'll see kind of 
a string of letters here and that means your phone is connected. Um, if you don't, then just make sure you're in the right folder, make sure you have debugging enabled, uh, developer modes on, and make sure that um, you type these commands exactly the way I have them typed right here. All right, and next what you're gonna do, and again, this is the point of no return, um, you're gonna type um, fastboot OEM unlock, and my device isn't hooked up because I've already done this, but your device would be here. Um, it might prompt you, it might not, but this is going to go ahead and reset your device, unlock your bootloader, um, and then your device is going to just like boot up like normal. It might take a few minutes. Uh, once it's booted up, you're going to go through the same steps we did last time. So you're going to go into settings. You're going to enable developer mode because it will be disabled now. Um, enable USB debugging and then um, hook your phone back up again. Um, but that's super, super important. Don't forget, one, once you initially do this, go back to settings, re-enable developer mode, and then re-enable USB debugging. So next, there's a couple more files that you need to download. Um, again, these are going to be in the description. Um, the first is the recovery image. You're also going to want to download the ROM itself. Um, in this case, again, I'm, I'm using Lineage. Um, this guide is pretty much like if more ROMs that are mainstream come out in the future, it should be a relatively similar process. So you should still be able to follow this guide. Um, and then also if you want Google apps like, um, like Gmail, Google, that sort of thing, um, you can download one of like the recommended gaps packages as well. Um, but once you've got those downloaded, you're going to go ahead and, um, type that same command in ADB reboot bootloader um, and then again your device should just reboot into that same mode and just like before you can kind of confirm it's connected just type fast boot devices should pop up that way you know you're connected um, and every file that you just downloaded um, you want to make sure is in the platform tools folder um, so you've got your gaps your ROM this is for rooting your phone uh, this will be important in a little bit. It's just uh, make sure you don't brick your device. Um, and then you've got the recovery image. What I recommend doing is renaming all of these um, just so that it's a little bit easier when you're typing the command. So you can just call this one lineage. Uh, you can just this, call this one uh, root. You can call this one gaps and so on. Um, that way you're not typing huge strings of random letters and numbers in it makes it easier to avoid typos uh, but anyway the next thing you're going to do is in your command line um, the command you're going to type is fastboot flash boot and then you're going to type the name of that recovery file so it's going to be recovery.img it's going to wait for your device make sure it's connected um, and then it'll go ahead and flash that uh, and then once it's done that, you're going to go ahead and reboot into your recovery mode. So it should give you the option. Um, if it doesn't, then you can also just type ADB reboot recovery. Um, and that'll get you into recovery mode. Um, but either way, assuming it um, worked and everything worked the way it should, you should boot into kind of a new mode. It'll have... Um, it, it kind of looks like a very, very basic operating system. I'll, I'll probably have an image of it on screen. Um, if you see that on your phone, that means you've kind of um, done the steps correctly and, you, and you're in the correct mode now. All right. So this next step is super, super important. Even though it's not required, it, it can make sure that you don't accidentally break or mess up your device. So I'll have this link in the description as well. Um, but you're going to want to download this file. It might be slightly different in the future, but um, regardless, I'll have the link to it and you're going to put it in this platform tools folder. And then in recovery mode on your phone, you're going to navigate to a um, section that should say apply update. And then it should say apply update from ADB. And now on your phone, you should see something that says ADB side loan, something along those lines. Um, basically, when you're in this mode, you're... Um, able to install packages from your PC directly onto your phone um, using the command line, using these platform tools, basically. So the command you're going to type is adb sideload and then the name of this file. Um, again, you can rename this if you want. I, I didn't rename this one just so that it sticks out. 
but you're going to um, copy this command, hit enter. Um, it's not doing anything in my instance because there's no device connected, um, but you would see it probably pop up on your device that it installs. Um, and then once that's installed, you're going to reboot to recovery mode again. All right, and now comes the fun part. We are actually going to install the ROM. We're going to install gaps. We're going to install, um, we're going to root the device. Th this rooting the, the device is completely optional, but I figure if you're, um, if you're installing a custom ROM, why not? Why not root it? Um, so what you're going to do is basically type the exact same commands. Um, so ADB, oops, um, ADB, sideload, and then you're going to start with lineage. So um, lineage.zip, enter. Um, and again, you want to be in the um, update and then apply update from ADB section for this. Um, but you're going to do that. Then you're going to install gaps once that's installed. So ADB, sideload, gaps.zip. You're going to go ahead and install that. And then lastly, you can root your device, ADB, sideload, root.zip. Go ahead and install that. Um, and then once all of that is done, you can go ahead and um, reboot your device and just let it boot up like normal. And actually, before we jump into the phone, really quickly, there are two things that I want to showcase. Firstly, if you manage to break your device, it happens to everyone at some point when you when you mess around with stuff. Um, no shame, there is a tool that you can use to unbrick it. It is called the MSM download tool. I'll have the link for this in the description. But this tool allows you to basically completely reinstall, um, factory reset your device to stock. Um, so basically you'll download this, you'll open up the top, um, the top application. Um, it takes a second to load. So while that's loading, the other thing I'm going to show, and I'll have this link in the description, um, there's a link on OnePlus' site to the stock firmware. So if you want to just like reflash your stock firmware, go back to stock, you can download that here. All right, so once your device has booted up, it might take a while first time, that's completely normal, um, but you can just set it up like a normal device, uh, log into your stuff. If you downloaded Gaps, get your Google set up. Um, and then you should see an app called um, uh, Magisk. Um, that if it's installed means your device should be rooted. Um, there's also a couple other apps you can download. Like there's um, there's a module manager you can download. So by default, like if I'm typing something on my keyboard with this ROM, there's a gap between the keyboard and the bottom of the screen. You can see there isn't really a gap on my phone. The keyboard is flush with the bottom of the screen. That's because I downloaded a module um, called full screen slash immersive gestures, which um, lets you kind of customize that. Um, I'm going to have another video up, which is kind of a camera guide because um, the camera that comes with most stock ROMs and even the stock camera on like stock ROM is not the best, but I think I found a setup that works really, really well. Um, and then most other apps work perfectly normal. Um, there's a couple of apps where for whatever reason, if you download them from the Play Store, they're going to crash. So one example of that is the PayPal app. If you download it directly from the Play Store and open it, it could just be that this most recent update is buggy, but it's most likely going to just crash your phone. Um, but you can just go and download any other version of the app. Um, like you can just go and um, type PayPal, APK, old version. And there's normally like, um, older versions of the app that you can download and just about anything but the newest version is going to work fine. Um, but once you've done that, you're pretty much all set. Um, you can go ahead and enable some pretty cool things. Um, so like um, I have when I hit restart, I can reboot straight to recovery. And that way, if I want to flash a new ROM or do something, I can I can kind of just do it straight from my reboot screen. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment and I can definitely help out. But I hope you all have a good one.